I had uh, recently in the past, I don't know, couple of days, week or something like that, I've had some unusual watches come in uh, in the in the in the Yachtman family. So there there may be not things that everybody has, has seen before. Maybe for people who've been collecting for a while, they might have seen some of these variants. But I figured, what the heck, might as well show them off. Um, this is my own Yachtman. That's a JDM Speed Timer, but it's not the Seiko 5 variant. It's just Speed Timer, and it's unloomed. This is completely original, complete with the original um, uh, taper H-link that this came with, with the reverse middle links. Very cool. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a known bracelet. This is actually the only example of this bracelet on the original watch that I've, that I've ever owned. It's pretty cool. So that's sort of our baseline. I got a watch in from a gentleman, from the original owner. He bought this in the Far East, brand new, when he was a member of the Merchant Marine. He bought this one brand new. It is This watch is unrestored. Now, the reason I wanted to make this video was to show this complete, original, and unrestored version of this watch. It is a 61380010. Very early, very early. You can see it's got, uh, one, it's proof marked. It's got the early two-part sweep. This was originally orange. It faded down to yellow. The day language is English. Come on. Oh, that's right. I can't correct on this one because it's all jacked up inside. Um, this one has Roman English day wheel. You're going to have to take my my word for that uh, because this, this watch it had, it lived in a moist environment and the seals were never redone. And so actually the while the dial and the hands look pretty good, the inside is a kind of a disaster area. But one of the reasons I want to show this to you is that it has what I consider to be the rarest of the three Yachtman bracelets. For some reason, Austral-Asian versions of Seiko's models, like this, like the silver, like the silver dialed 6139 or the, the gold with the black ring 6139, they came with, they came on for some reason a higher end bracelets. I'm not exactly sure why. And this is an example of that. Most of these bracelets, like this, this is the JDM bracelet. It's folded stainless steel. It's not even solid. Um, this is the sort of the standard American bracelet, the, the generic, not generic, the standard one that is most often seen on all of these. This is a, this is a slide rule chronograph, but this is the bracelet they're almost always seen on. This is the, the rarest of the bracelet types as far as I know. And this is original to the watch. This is the Stellux Solid President. And it, it's a beautiful, beautiful bracelet. And it, I, I, one of the clues for it being Stellux, besides the fact that the fold says Stellux, is whenever you see these and it has this, the Seiko is a recessed pressing rather than a, a re, let's see if I can do that, rather than raised like this, how that's raised Seiko. It has this recessed Seiko. And the Stellux clasps are longer and they're flatter. And instead of having little fingers that hook onto the thing, it actually has an internal clasp inside the fold itself. It clicks together right there and you can see the Stellux marking on the, on the clasp in there. So it's just, it's rare to see. It's a really, really nice bracelet. And um, both of the other bracelets, Seiko liked using sort of a taper. You can see these have sort of the taper a little bit wider than the lugs. Whereas this Stellux one is just even. They didn't, they didn't add anything extra to it. And so it's a straight shot out. Really beautifully made. Stellux did such a great job. Anyway, hey, my God, it's running. This watch, uh, that's kind of amazing. I can't believe it's running. I could barely get this thing to run at all. It had a good amount of moisture inside. And it's, it's got lots of problems and something is deeply, deeply wrong underneath the dial and the calendar setup. Uh, I can't use the, the setting lever at all to get it to do anything. But anyway, that's what original looks like. Sort of an out of the sock drawer kind of thing. Known history. One owner. Uh, it stopped again. Not a happy watch, but you know, cosmetically it's beautiful. Uh, one of these days I'll have some time and some courage and I'll go into this watch and see what can be saved. 
But I just wanted to show it off because it's so neat to see a sock drawer watch like this. With the original bracelet, everything else like that. Early piece. The second new-ish watch to me that just came in is on a strap because it had no bracelet. But this watch actually came in in pieces. And this is a, this is a pretty rare variant. Um, this is a speed timer. It's a JDM speed timer. Like mine, but notice this just says Seiko speed timer. This says Seiko 5 Sports speed timer. This is not loomed at all. Just white printing. Whereas this is loomed. That's loomed hands, loomed dial, and loomed hands. And it's not only that, it's got the really early short set of hands. And not only that, it's got the short arrow tip hands. Not seen often at all. Original two-part sweep, kanji English day wheel. Pretty, pretty cool. Pretty neat piece. And this is also a 6138-0010. This one is from October 1969. This one is from, huh, this one is from April 1970. Isn't that interesting? They have the same case back number, and they're only a few months apart. But they went to different parts of the world and lived very different lives. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Anyway. You, these Seiko 5 Sports speed, speed Timers, I see more of those in that dial. I normally do. It's these that are actually pretty rare, especially in this original condition. Boy, you just, believe me, you never see that like that. But that's pretty cool, though, with the Seiko 5 Sports Speed Timer. And the short arrow tip handset, very rare to see. I mean, the long arrow tips, the long ones, are common enough that there actually there are aftermarkets. There are repros being made, but no one I know is making the shorts and they would only be appropriate for a really really early early watch like this this one is so mine is so late it is from 1977 eight years after this one was made eight years separate these two watches hmm pretty cool stuff anyway i just thought it'd be fun to show a few variants of some things that people don't normally see so yeah if you see a yachtman and it's got this, it's got this Stellux bracelet on it. Man, that's original. That's cool. Isn't that cool? There's the Stellux mark. Beautifully finished like all the things that Stellux did. Yeah, one of these days I'll have some courage and I'll see if I can save this watch. I'm going to keep it in one piece no matter what. I'll, I'll never part this watch out because I've got the... I've got all the history on this watch, and, but still, it's, it's good to see what good looks like. Gnarly. Okay, thank you so much. Say a little video.